Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about spraying Badger Primer. Um, and I'm going to use three different uh, types of primer here to demonstrate. I'm going to go through a lot of stuff, which is going to be later on in the video. Um, but let's get right on to it. So I always spray Badger Primer, and this is a recommendation, through a 0.5 needle. So that is my Badger uh, Patriot 105 with a 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.5 millimeter needle. needle. As you can see, the tip of the needle sticks out. So here's a little trick. I don't know if you guys know this. You know you can get a nozzle uh, that uh, nozzle tip that protects the needle. You don't have to use the one that they uh, give you in the factory. You can buy another one. It's only $5 from the Badger website. And it covers your needle. It's perfect. Um, so really, this will help prevent damage, uh, damage to your needle. So I highly recommend it. Uh, you know, grab it for five bucks. It's, it's worth it. So the first thing is, we're going to look at how to do this wrong. Um, and what I mean by that is, I'm going to spray this um, on a test piece here for you guys to show you the kind of issues you can get if you are, don't prepare your uh, model in advance. So I'm just going to dump the primer in here. I've shaken the primer up, by the way, but using my Vortex. This bottle is extremely rigid, so I have to really squeeze at it. I don't know if it's uh, uh, something with the bottle or I'm just getting weaker as I get older. So as you can see, the primer is in there. Um, and this piece, and, and this is a good example of why you need primer. If you notice those two painted areas, if I paint a third thing over them, it's going to look weird. That's why a primer is important because it helps unify everything together. So there's no, uh, you know, uh, differences in the paint. And here you go. This is a perfect example of what I mean spraying it wrong. When you spray primer, you should wipe your model down. You should wipe it down with alcohol or you should wash it with uh, a dishwashing liquid. I didn't do that just to demonstrate in this case. And you can see that it started getting um, fish eyes uh, in the front right there. But you can still recover. Uh, Badger primer is very forgiving. This is one of the things I really like about it. If you keep going over it in nice small patterns here like I'm doing, you can actually get it to recover almost completely. Uh, now, I will say that this primer is the glossy black, and um, you can get the flat back, flat black. Um, if you decide to recover like this by just you know trying to smooth it out by adding in more layers, you still will not be able to use this for natural metal finish because it's going to show through. But for regular painting, it's not going to show through. It's a perfect uh, uh, fix right there. So I really, really recommend um, just working with it if you have that issue. You can get around it. It's not a, a you know model killer right there. So hopefully this helps. Uh, uh, this little tip helps in using primer if you have these kind of issues with fish eyes or anything. So you can see that it's shiny, it goes on shiny, but it dries really fast. It's very forgiving. I flooded some of the areas. Hopefully you can see there where my finger's pointing. Um, some of the areas look like they're flood and they're ruined. Nope. Um, just blow some air and then, you know, just wait and it will dry back. It will dry back and it will cover the uh, nasty fisheye stuff. But what you can't see on there is there's some uh, other glue marks and stuff on this test piece and they'll come through. So you will lightly have to sand over the primer to get rid of those. And I'm going to point those out. Um, later and this is again proves my point of why you need a primer you need a primer because you, i didn't see that with my naked eye you're not going to see those kind of errors with your naked eye and do you really want to ruin a model uh, after you spent all that time just because you were too lazy to put the primer on it uh, guys tell me all the time well i don't prime i don't prime well you know what i'm I, i've driven without my seatbelt on once in a while and and you know is it the smart thing to do no i got away with it but it's not the smart thing to do same with primer all right, so white primer is a different animal altogether. Uh, the white primer, you cannot just spray uh, in large coats like you do the other primers. For some weird reason, and I don't understand this, I've tried this with several bottles of uh, Badger white primer. Um, it's the same procedure. You put it into your cup. And there you go. I already shook it up before I put it in my cup. Uh, and you have to gently mist it on. You really have to mist the white primer on for some reason. Um, it's not the same. Um, you'll notice with the black and the gray primer, I was just able to just blast it on. And by the way, I'm doing this all at the recommended 30 PSI. Uh, so I really do recommend you follow Badger's instructions on this. I know it sounds weird to spray at 30 PSI 
uh, primer, but it's going to lay down smooth. It's going to level out. It's going to look really, really nice. And the white primer here, um, it's coming down, as you can see, nice misty layers. There we go. You're starting to see it build up now. And then once I've gotten a nice misty layer going that I can start seeing that's you know starting to cover, I come back in with a heavier coat. But if you try to do a heavy coat without the light misty layer first, uh, it's just going to get all fish-eyed. And uh, I don't know why, even if the surface is clean. On this part, I purposely clean the surface with um, a degreasing agent and uh, with alcohol as well. So uh, even with that, it's just going to fish-eye. And I, I don't understand why the white primer does this. Uh, and it's always done this. I've had several bottles. Um, it is the only version of the primer that does this for some reason. So nice misty layers and then build up and you're going to get a beautiful, beautiful finish. And again, the key thing, one of the key things about primers is it's helping you locate issues that you're not going to see with your naked eye. And I cannot stress this enough. I mean, this is so important. It's also going to uniform the paint, by the way. So, you know, uh, this is also very, very important, unifying the paint um, and, and finding these errors. But there are errors in here. I thought I had this piece clean and later on I'll, I'll show you that I found a piece of uh, uh, an error in here uh, I didn't see with my naked eye. You're just not going to see it. And I have 20-20 vision, so it's not like I'm, I'm you know, blind as a black bat here. Uh, I have pretty decent vision, and I was not able to see some of these areas, especially if there's smaller scratches that you don't think about. A primer is really going to bring that to the forefront and let you know. And this is one of the things that I find, um, even with some wonderful modelers on YouTube and, and you know, at shows, they just, they didn't prime, they didn't see the scene, and now it takes away from the entire model. It's the, it's like the basis of model building is, is scene work, uh, you know, and, and they just skipped over that part. So the scene just stands out because they didn't use a primer to check. They thought their eyes were good enough. It, 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 they're not. You're not going to see the scene, especially if on gray plastic. You're just not going to see some of the scenes sometimes because they blend into the gray so well, you're not going to be able to tell where the seam ends and, and, and such so all right so as you can see nice build up uh, beautiful uh, almost satin finish to it uh, not a glossy finish but like a semi satin finish to it which is really nice um, and again the paint is going to really adhere to this especially if you use acrylics like I do Vallejo um, it gives it a nice foundation and after that I can you know I, it, you can handle them you can do all that stuff and badger primer dries really quickly so this is a uh, this is going to be dry by the time I'm done with the third piece. Dry to touch, handle everything. All right, last example uh, here is how to do it correctly. This is the gray primer. And squeeze directly into the bottle. Make sure your airbrush is clean when, before you spray. And nice, you know. Now, you don't have to spray it misty, you can get a little bit of paint on there uh, versus the white and you just keep going at it. The, pi uh, the piece has been cleaned thoroughly, so just remember, always wash your model, uh, make sure there's no grease on it from yours, uh, from the factory, from your hands, whatever it might be. But as you can see, it's going really, really nice. I'm going in there with a wet coat here. If you notice, it, it's going on pretty wet and that's key here. It's going to give you a nice, smooth, satin light. Uh, finish to the uh, the primer when it's done is just it looks really really nice it's gonna the paint's gonna adhere to it really really well here we go hopefully you can see that on the screen here the shininess of the primer the satin finish of the primer it's not glossy but it's definitely got a, a somewhat of a satin finish to it And you can add in some just another wet coat, you know, depending on what you, uh, how much primer you want or kind of look you're going for, whatever it might be. If you feel you need to darken up an area on there, or just just not enough primer, keep going. Uh, Badger primer is going to really just dry back, and it will not hide the details. I mean, this is a very forgiving primer.
And there's no smell, by the way. That's the other really nice thing about Badger Partners. All right, so here's the three pieces. Um, you can see the differences, uh, hopefully, from the view camera. There's a satin finish to, this, uh, to the gray primer. It's really nice. Uh, it was done beautifully uh, at 0.5 millimeter uh, nozzle set and the 35 PSI. Same with the white. Now, the white, as, I, uh, as you watch in the video, took a little bit longer. You have to mist it on. And here's the thing. This is why you use primer. I don't know if you can see this. There's a little scratch with the, and a hair right there. I have a cat. And I would have never seen that. With the black... I didn't prepare the surface so you can see some issue there's like a slight little mark I don't know if it was glue or something I'm not sure what it was um, but the fisheye stuff I was able to take uh, take care of because badger primer when you um when you start spraying it on it really does you know uh, uh, fix a lot of the faults it'll cover up some of the mistakes uh, like the fisheye stuff uh, you just have to go nice and slow and you can get rid of that but it, I mean this is this is why you use a primer. If I 